So in this lesson, we're going to take a look at uh, slope fields. They're also known as uh, direction fields. And what a slope field or a direction field uh, shows you is, is sh it shows you a graphical representation of the slopes of the tangents to the, um, the function that would be the solution to the differential equation um, that are specified within our differential equation. So if we look at the example that we're going to look at a little bit later, we've got y prime equals 2x or dy dx equals 2x. y prime or dy dx represents the slope of the tangent. So what our differential equation is telling us is that at some point x, y, the slope of the tangent to this function that we're interested in is given by 2 times x. Okay? Why do we look at these things? Because sometimes you can draw the, the direction field or the slope field and get an idea of what the solution is to our differential equation, even when we don't know how to solve the differential equation itself. So how do we do this? Basically, I got a four-step process here. We start by choosing a bunch of points, x and y values. We use our differential equation to find the slope at each one of these points as specified by the differential equation. And we set up a grid and on this grid we're going to draw a short little line with the appropriate slope at each of these points. And then we kind of look to see if there's a pattern in these, uh, these uh, little lines or these little slopes that we've drawn and to see what we can guess about the, the underlying differential equation. So let's take a look at this example here. y primed equals 2x. I'm going to start by setting up um, my, uh, my xy grid over here. I'm going to say that this is my origin here like this. Okay, and we'll say that this is let's do negative 1, positive 1, and then positive 1, and then negative 1 down there. Just put a scale on. So let's choose some values for x and y, and then for each of these x and y values, we will choose a value for the slope of the tangent, which is just given by 2x. So the first point we might pick is 0, 0. Okay. If x is 0, then the slope at this tangent is going to be 2 times 0, so the slope is going to be 0 as well. So on the graph at this point, 0, 0, we're going to draw a tiny little line with slope 0. And then we can choose another set of points. Let's um, increase our x value up to, now let's change our y value first. Let's go um, x is 0, y is positive 1. Well, let's see, y primed is 2 times x, so it's still going to be 0. And in fact, if we do uh, 0, negative 1, anywhere x is 0, our slope of our tangent here, y primed, is still going to be 0. So we can go to these other points that we've done and we can draw these little line segments with a slope of 0. Well, let's change our x value now to something that is different from 0. Let's say, um, let's choose x equals 1 here. And let's start at y equals 0. Here our slope is going to be 2. So at this point, 1, 0, we are going to draw a line with a slope of 2. This is going to kind of go, let's see, a slope of 1 would be like that, so we've got to draw it kind of up like this, so right through that line, 1, 0. And if we go to the other side here, let's say x is negative 1, y is 0, our slope is going to be 2 times negative 1, it's going to be negative 2. So over on the other side here, we're going to have to draw a line with a negative, slope of negative 2, kind of like that. That might be a little bit too long. Let's sort of undo that one, make it a little bit shorter. And then we can sort of start filling in the blanks here. We can choose um, x equals 1, y equals 1. Our slope is going to be 2. Oh, and in fact, anywhere x is 1, our slope is going to be 2. So all along this line here, we're going to have these little lines here that have the same slope. And if we go back to looking at x equals negative 1, 
if we're at negative 1, 1 or negative 1, negative 1, our slope is going to be negative 2, negative 2. So all along here, we can draw lines that look like that, lines that look like that. And now we can start trying to think about the pattern here. If we were to extend this, let's say um, I've got a 2, a negative 2, negative 2, and 2. Let's see what's going to happen at, um, let's say, y, uh, x equals 0, y equals negative 2. Well, that's still going to be a slope of 0 there and there. Now, what if we move over here to x equals 2? Anywhere x equals 2, we're going to have a slope of 2 times x, so 4. So this is going to get steeper over here along this line. So we're going to make a series of really steep lines, kind of like this. On the other side, where x is equal to negative 2, again, our slope is going to be negative 4. So we're going to make something steeper, but coming down like this. So these lines represent the slope of the tangent to the curve that represents our solution at um, various points. So if we were to connect these things together with a smooth curve, um, that would kind of give us an idea of what this thing is going to look like. And so we can kind of imagine that this thing might kind of come down here like this and then go up there like that. Okay? So our solution might look something like a parabola here. Or we could have this as our solution. And there, and then up there like that. Okay. Now, this differential equation is simple enough that we can actually solve it without doing any of this. If we have, um, if our equation is y primed equals 2x, or uh, sorry, dy dx equals 2x, and we wanted to solve this thing, well, let's see, we can just actually do the, uh, the antiderivative here. So y would equal x squared plus c, some constant of integration. Right. So our solution is going to be y equals x squared plus or minus some constant. And that's what we're seeing in this direction field here. All of these red curves represent um, curves that are parabolas, y equals x squared, shifted up and down relative to each other, shifted relative to this constant c. So depending on the value that we chose for our constant of integration, we could get these different, different particular solutions to the differential equation.